Hey, how you doing? My name is Dana and I'm the owner of PasswordReset.com. That's Password-Reset.com. And I'm here to uh, show you how to create our software boot device. Um, and we'll be using a USB. And uh, this is the device that you'll use to reset your, uh, your Windows password on another machine. And uh, this device would work on any of the versions of, of uh, Windows. Windows 2000, XP, Vista, all the way through Windows 8. Um, including Windows 8 with the uh, latest hardware that they're releasing it with called UEIF, um, which is like the BIOS. So, um, you know, we're going to have everything set up so that you can uh, create your, uh, your device and run it and get back in your Windows when you're locked out. So, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go to the computer here. So, let me uh, flip the camera around. And this is the, the computer I'm going to create the device on. Get my glasses on here. And... This is what we're going to use, a uh, 4 gigabyte uh, cruiser USB uh, um, thumb drive. And you just start here with the uh, website, password-reset.com. There's our URL. And uh, there's the site, and if you can, you know, want to read through it and so forth. Um, but eventually you're going to go to the download the software here or up at the top where it says download and instructions. And you're just going to click on that. And then what you're going to do is click on the 4.5 version here, which is com uh, this file is for either USB or CD or DVD. Even we recommend CD though. Um, and then we also have our old version 3.0 as well available on there, which uh, you know there's there's still some reasons maybe to use that, so we we, we keep that available as well. And if you uh, if you have one, you have them both. There's they're not uh, you know separate or you don't have to pay separately for them or anything like that. But uh, what we do is we go ahead and um, click on this and it's going to take us down to that particular download page and instructions. Um, then we're going to click here to fully expand the instructions so everything comes up including our click here file to download which is what we're going to do right now and below that you'll notice it has all the screenshots of everything you're going to go through but uh, for the purpose of the video I'm going to just show you all this stuff so we won't bother going down through that. But uh, for beginner, or to begin, we just go ahead and click that to start the download of the file. And that's the first thing that you need to do is get your file downloaded. Um, if you can, we try to recommend downloading it from the, to the desktop. Um, the file is a uh, 170 uh, approximately me uh, megabytes. So it uh, can take anywhere from, you know, a minute to five minutes or so, depending on your download speed. Mine's going to take a couple minutes here. I'm on my wireless. And... Uh, a little bit away from the router so at any rate once it's done you can go ahead and move it to your desktop so what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, assume that the files downloaded and we've moved it over to our desktop which is right here so there's our file we downloaded and then what we do is go ahead and just launch the file and then you're gonna usually get a warning from Windows just saying you know are you sure you want to run this file is it safe and so forth and our software is 100 percent safe you don't have anything to worry about so you can just say yes to keep going and then it loads and it's gonna ask you the media type which means do you want to make a CD or a USB thumb drive well we're gonna go with the USB so here's our 4 gigabyte thumb drive slider out there slip it in the slot here <clears throat> and then we're gonna click now, as you notice behind it, it, it opened up this drive just to show you what's on it and so forth. So we can go ahead and close that dialog window. And then we're going to click on USB. And then you'll see that our USB drive is here. And it's uh, showing you how much space is on it and so forth. So, And then you have begin copying. So we can go ahead and begin copying and start the process of formatting our drive. Now, if you don't have the means to create your own uh, CD or USB, our website does have on it, the purchase page different uh, ways to order it. We have a uh, complete kit which is um, right here and it comes in a nice uh, snap case with the CDs in it and the USB thumb drive all ready to go. Or you can go a la carte and just get the CD or just get the USB um, You know, if you want to save a little money that way. So um, if you don't have the means to create your own drives this is a perfect way for you to have them rushed out to you. We send it priority mail. We get them out as soon as possible. We either try to get it out that day or the next day if it's a little too late in the day. So anyway, we're going to go back to the to our disk here. And our USB is just about ready. It's at 85%. 
and in just about another probably 10 seconds or not even that we have now got 100% completion so it is done and what I like to do is just go to the uh, what used to be called my computer as you might remember but if you go down to the corner here I'm using Windows 8 and I right click I can go to file explorer and that's just going to show me what's on my uh, uh, drives and this is the F drive we're looking for with the uh, it's the thumb drive we click on the thumb drive and just make sure that the files were copied correctly and everything is correct and it is bootable so they're you know these are not just files copied to the drive there's some others behind the scenes stuff that makes it bootable as well so you have to go through these these instructions the way we've done it you can't just copy files to the drive you know directly you gotta go through the file that we downloaded and so forth so we know it's good to go we can take it out of the, the slot, and then this is where we're going to take it over to whatever computer we have, uh, Windows XP, Vista 2000, um, Windows 8, um, Windows 7, the uh, server versions. We can support a uh, domain controller with our corporate version if you have a server. So if you have any questions about any of that, don't hesitate to use the contact us page to, uh, you know, uh, tell us what your needs are and what you're up against and what you, you know how we can help you and uh, go from there. So that concludes the the creation of the of the USB drive. If you want to do a CD, um, where it was telling us to choose the the media format, you would have just chose CD and put a CD in and then done the exact same thing. And within uh, it's a little longer, maybe within about four or five minutes, you would have had a completed CD and um, it would do the same thing that the USB does. Okay, so you're all set, and then um, we're gonna have uh, an another video, you know, showing you how to run the device and, um, and you know, other instructions for, for uh, using these on your computer and so forth. So keep an eye out for those. And I thank you for watching the video. You have a great day.